Today I am ponying my yearling Ruach off of my horse Tucker. So this is our first session where I'm actually going to get on and ride. So to start with, I'm just gonna review some groundwork with Ruach since he's a baby. I just wanna make sure he's gonna be responsive and listening since this is a new thing for him. And so in the previous video I did on this, I went through the groundwork for teaching your horses how to pony. And so with that, like I, I led them beside each other and we worked a lot on the ground. So here I'm just reviewing that. I'm just gonna lead them beside each other again just to make sure we're all on the same page. Ruach was definitely in a playful mood this day because he was like, <laughs> I could feel him wanting to play with me and like nip at my sweater and things like that. So if it looks like I'm blocking him with my elbow, I am. So this is the first day I'm gonna ride Tucker and pony Ruach. Tucker has ponied another horse before, but it was a very long time ago and it was only once, so he is also a little inexperienced. I had Colin hand me Ruach, just to start things out on a good note. So this is like the first few minutes of him learning to pony. And so all I'm doing, I'm keeping Ruach to the inside because it kind of keeps him naturally just a little bit more away from Tucker as Tucker moves around the outside of the circle. And so here I'm just trying to let them figure out how to place themselves. So with Ruach, he's getting a little impatient here. That's why he's biting the rope. I think he was a little frustrated. But the ultimate position for him would be to stay beside my knee and he won't get in front of my knee or won't get behind my knee. So he did have a little trouble figuring that out, but like I said, it's his first time doing that. So that's why I'm encouraging him to step up and step forward. He also wanted to play with the saddle pad and my leg. And so I was trying to like keep him from nipping at Tucker and causing drama as horses do. And so this session was only like 10 or 15 minutes because Ruach's a baby, I didn't want to overwhelm him. I just wanted them to both understand the concept. Tucker here did overall fabulous. He was very responsive and handled it really well, even though sometimes I could tell like with his ears, I knew he was not liking necessarily what was going on. He's a very sensitive horse, especially when other horses are around him and being ridden. And so one thing that Ruach was doing that we had to fix was he was trying to kind of like get behind Tucker and like walk up all on him. And Tucker did not like that at all. And so I was trying to keep that from happening. And here we just had to stop and catch our breath because this was probably like 10 minutes in so I could tell Ruach was getting a little fed up and I was like, we need to end this soon. So here we are and Ruach's trying to get behind him again. And so Tucker ends up teaching him a lesson, unfortunately, right here. He just gave him a little kick. And so after that, I'm like, okay, I think Ruach's had enough. I think he was just getting a little frustrated and antsy. So this is the next session. I did a second session and, you know, going in, horses were naive. So now they're a little bit more experienced. I'm actually gonna mount up and have Ruach with me this time. So I was just telling him to like back up, back away. Ruach is a very friendly horse. He likes to be all up in your space. And so we're still just addressing kind of boundaries and backing up. And when I tell you to back up, that means stay back and things like that. So with this, I got on, Tucker moved forward, Ruach started walking. It just kind of got a little messy. So I had to organize myself and organize my reins, organize my ropes. And anyway, it was also colder this day. So the horses were a little fresher and a little bit more reactive, but I think they actually overall did good this day. And so I just start the same way, like putting Ruach back on the inside of the circle and Tucker to the outside. And Ruach wanted to play with me here. And so I was trying to keep him from doing that and nipping at me and then Tucker thinking he's nipping at him. Here, he really kind of started to figure out where he was supposed to be. Like he's supposed to be beside my knee, walking next to Tucker. And I also noticed here he spooked because the car pulled out, but I feel like he handled that really well because he just kind of startled and then went right back under control. But I'm also figuring this out too. And I figured out when I'm not fidgeting as much or trying to control and instead just like planting my hand and letting them figure it out, they did much better. So there other spooky things were going on this day and it was a little breezy. So the horses were just checking it out. And here we're getting a little unorganized. Ruach was trying to get in front of Tucker. 
there's Rock just having a little baby fit. So, you know, this is the second session. It's not gonna be perfect, but I just wanted to show you all kind of the progress and the process of this. So, like I said, when I stopped fidgeting as much, they started doing really well. So, Rock really figured out his placement. Tucker kind of started to understand what was going on. And here you can see Rock is staying at my leg pretty well, and that's what I want. And now I put him on the outside just for, you know, the new experience and also to now have him on the outside to where he's having to walk out and around and keep up rather than on the circle. It was a little easier being on the inside. So here, once again, he's getting a little stuck on trying to get behind Tucker. But I just really practiced like turning in circles and just trying to get them used to this new concept of ponying. And they did really well, especially like towards the end. I'm like, okay, they're getting it. So this was just the first few sessions we did. I think they did great. I think, you know, as we practice and do more of this, it'll get better. But anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you next time.